Hey guys, the Dudes Corner here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use sledgehammers. Now, sledgehammers are is an algorithm. Now, for n by n puzzles, there will be eight different forms of sledgehammers. Most of you might, most of you cubers might be sitting there thinking, "What eight algorithms?" Well, the answer is, yeah, you might be surprised, but I will show you how all of them will work um, and explain them as best as I can. This video could be kind of complicated. I definitely would say that this video is really meant for those who know the CFOP method, because um, this is really just an extra algorithm that can be helped applied. Um, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and start. Uh, the eight algorithms I will list, I'm gonna show you each one and the names. So the first one is called the sledgehammer, of course, um, and it should be pretty straightforward. So the algorithms are named the sledgehammer, the hedge slammer, the left sledgehammer, the left hedge slammer, the opposite sledgehammer, the opposite hedge slammer, the opposite left sledgehammer, and the opposite left hedge slammer. Kind of hard to keep up with which one's which. Sometimes it'll get kind of, I might end up stumbling along with which ones are which. I'll do my best. I'll correct myself if I make a mistake. May not make complete sense, but as we go along, you'll be able to understand how these algorithms will be helpful and what their definite use could be for. Now, let's focus on all the remaining algorithms. So, sledgehammer is R prime, F, R, F prime. Hedge slammer is F, R prime, F prime. R, left sledgehammer is L, F prime, L prime, F, left sledge hedge slammer is F prime, L, F, L prime. Then there is opposite of sledgehammer, and this one is R, F prime, R prime, F, the op and then the opposite of hedge slammer, which is F prime, R, F, R prime. Then there is the opposite of less left sledgehammer, and this one is L prime, F prime, L, F, and then the opposite of left sl hedge slammer is F prime, L prime, F, L. Stumbled along, <laughs> there's a lot of different cases and it's kind of hard to remember which one which ones were which now what is an easy way of understanding this now when people say sledgehammer they consider our they turn down down up up but now i'll quickly go over what these all can be used for they're all four moves they're all kind of simple they definitely can get confusing which ones are which but what can they be used for well sledgehammer can certainly be useful for a different way to insert an f2l pair now, when inserting an F2L pair, we always we generally would do R U prime R prime, but with Sledgehammer, you can perform the algorithm, which is R prime F R F prime, and that also inserts it. Certain cases, it can be smarter for already skipping OLL, um, but there's all kinds of different reasons how Sledgehammer can be useful for that. Also, left Sledgehammer is another way for inserting another F2L pair. Now, what about Hedge Slammer? Well, hedge slammer, which is generally used for the kind of the opposite, it can be helpful for, say, taking out an F2L pair. If we simply just perform hedge slammer, you can see that this also takes this specific F2L pair out. So if we wanted to get a different F2L pair in, you know, so on. Um, but there's a lot of different cases. Um, but one of the best parts about these algorithm sets are is it can really help you break down OLL and PLL algorithms. Now, there are 21 PLLs and 57 OLLs, and memorizing all those algorithms can get very complicated. So using F2L, sorry, not F2L, sorry, I'm gonna stumble a lot through this video. Using sledgehammers, it's easier to break down the algorithms for memorizing. That's definitely gonna be one of the advantages. Now, what else can you use with sledgehammers? What about the opposite? Of sledgehammers because I brought those up. Well, when we look at the opposites, I'm going up, up, down, down. And so instead of down, down, up, up, for the regular sledgehammers, up, up, down, down. And this is taking out the F2L pair 
that is on top. So you're already holding this on white on top. If you want to save a rotation, you can simply perform the opposite of sledgehammer, and then that'll get the F2L pair in. I know that solved it, but I really don't want to have to scramble the cube and bring up specific cases for explaining, but you can see the picture where I'm going with this. And that's the same for left, uh, opposite of left and all that. It really can help with reducing rotations and specific cases. But anyway, that's really for 3x3. Not only does this work for 3x3, it works for any end by end puzzle, 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, 33x33. But yeah, you get the idea. But what else can we use Sledgehammer for? Is there any other cube with the idea of going down, down, up, up that we can use for other puzzles? Well, the answer is yes. Now, in particular, I want to start by using the ready cube as an example. Now, I know the ready cube is not a WCA puzzle and generally would not be used for tutorials for these kinds of things. But one of the advantages is you can easily see where the down, down, up, up can come from and it's just a really really good example of showing how sledgehammers work and then of course hedge slammers and all that they all work the same way um, except when you go you can also do the left version except here's the interesting thing when it comes to different puzzles other than the end by end puzzles there's only going to be four algorithms instead of eight and you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, can't you still perform the same ways if you consider this is the right side and this is the left? Well, the answer is no, because when you perform Sledgehammer, now we would do Hedge Slammer, which is the invert or the opposite, to bring this back. But technically, this is also the left Sledgehammer. Now, this may, not, this may be confusing, but simply put, there's only going to be four algorithms. So there's going to be Sledgehammer, Hedge Slammer, um, opposite of sledgehammer and then opposite of hedge slammer. So that's how that will work. I will list all the algorithms and all of the different cases. Um, so it'll break it down a little easier for you guys. But now let's take a look at a different puzzle. Skube. Now Skube is going to work the same way if we look at it to a ready cube. This is one of the reasons why I want to make use of a ready cube. Considering this is the right and this is the left, and this makes this is the right and this is the left. So we would go down, down, up, up, the same way we would go down, down, up, up. Works the exact same way. So then that means, because there's only four algorithms on the ready cube, then that means there's only going to be four for the skew. And then what about the opposite algorithms? Now these are what come helpful for skew. So when we go up, up, down, down, what we just did is we performed a case from holding it at a different angle because we just simply did, when we rotate, we would just have to perform sledgehammer here in order to solve it. This is something for really those advanced cube solvers to realize how this can help reduce rotations. I would eventually make a tutorial on understanding this. I won't be posting that for a little while, but this is just for now for those advanced cube solvers to understand for reducing rotations. Now, what about other cubes? Well, the only other WCA puzzle that really necessarily needs uh, sledgehammers is going to be pyraminks. And pyraminks, if you're holding this as your right and this is your left, this would be down, down, up, up. Same way the ready cube works. Well, what about, and then of course, hedge slammers, you know, uh, all of it works the same, only going to be four algorithms. But if we perform the opposite of the, of the sledgehammer, which is up, up, down, down, you will see that if we do a rotation, this is basically the um, hedge slammer performed on this side. So then when we perform sledgehammer here, it solves it. So kind of confusing. Um, I'm trying to make this as simplistic as possible. If you guys can't fully understand, I would definitely say try experimenting this with yourself. Uh, the four algorithm sequence for the puzzles that can only do the four algorithms are these ones right here. And then any of the n by n puzzles that can do the four, uh, sorry, the eight algorithms, such as even Megaminx I can actually do, forgot to mention that. Uh, that would be all of these algorithms. And of course the names listed as well. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, there's definitely a lot that can be very, very confusing. So 
feel free to ask as many questions as you need to because I know lots of other people can also help try answering those. I'll try to even answer them. This is definitely one of those things that can be confusing, but this alg these algorithms can be so helpful for breaking down cases, solving F2L faster, even just other puzzles for reducing rotations that we, we just saw. So keep that in mind that this can be very, very helpful for all kinds of different things. So anyway, that's everything for this video. If you found this video helpful, please remember to hit that like button down below and hit the subscribe button as well as those bell notifications to be notified when upcoming videos are released. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.